So there's been one proposal that's been put forward by a group of scientists of the best way of, of going to Mars and colonising it is to send the first mission as a, a one-way mission, to send our astronauts to Mars and not expect to bring them back. But this wouldn't be a suicide mission. The idea is you would send your, your humans, your astronauts, with enough materials and um, habitats to, to build a permanent colony on Mars and to be self-sustaining, to live off the ground when they get there, to live off the land, to extract their own water from the ice and the, the ground of Mars, to regenerate their own oxygen and to grow their own food and be self-sustaining. And a couple of years later, send another mission to Mars, and another mission, and grow and grow our presence there. And this, this follows the model of the colonisation of, of the Americas, of, of sending a few ships at a time with some colonists who weren't expecting to come back to Europe, but, but they were also weren't expecting to be on a, on a suicide mission. And so I think this is a, a, a very valuable model for, for the exploration and, and colonisation of, of space, of, of the Moon and of Mars at first. But when you're talking about what kind of time scale that might be happening on, it's, it's hard to know. I say we've, we've retired the space shuttle now, it's now falling a lot more onto private enterprise to be pushing for these big, uh, vaulting dreams of, of the exploration of space. So it might be 20, 30, perhaps 50 years before we start getting permanent habitats on places like the Moon or Mars, but we're definitely driving that way.